Oh man. Oh shoot. I'm doing it, y'all. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm looking excited, man. Uh today is the first day of God Talks episode one. Now, this, I guess you could call it a podcast, but honestly, it's not real. I don't like I guess you could say it's a podcast. I guess you could say it's a podcast. And y'all, I'm not gonna lie, bro. It's like 90 degrees outside. Y'all might hear the lawnmowers. Cause I'm in a beautiful neighborhood right now. It's a beautiful, quiet neighborhood, but people cutting grass and stuff. So don't even mind that. Don't even mind that. Today we got a couple things to talk about. Uh first thing first, um, I just want to talk about what I've been going through this week, you know what I'm saying? Like ever since I stopped doing reactions and just, you know, like ever since I stopped doing reactions and stuff like that, I just wanted to tell y'all like, you know, everything that's been going on in my life. Number one, uh, I feel like I'm getting way closer to God. You know, now that I stopped doing reactions, even before reactions, I was, I mean, I was close to God, but now that I'm stopped doing them like completely, I feel like my relationship with God is growing each and every day. Uh, I'm going into his will, I'm going to his calling. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to follow the path that he has for me because I feel like the path that I have for myself is not going to align with the path that he has for me. You know, one thing we got to realize is that God's path for us is way greater than the path that we have for ourselves. We may think we want this, we may think we want that, but in reality, bro, God knows exactly what we need, not what we want. You know what I'm saying? He, he knows what we want, but he knows exactly what we need. And that's probably the greatest thing about God is that, uh, that he got, he got a plan for each, for everybody. Believe it or not, people may think that uh, God ain't real, God is that. Let me ask you something. People, people say that God ain't real. People say that God is this. People say that God is that. But in reality, the same way that God is, just look at your parents. God punished, God punished us uh, for doing wrong. Correct? Okay. Now, what do your parents do when you do wrong? I'm pretty sure they didn't say, "Oh, Johnny, it's okay." It's okay. You you could you can hit me all day long. It's okay, Johnny. They punish you, right? So that's the same thing with God. So don't don't think that God uh, that God hates you or this and that. Like God has a plan for all of us. And like ever since I stopped doing reactions, I just really really been trying to follow His plan for my life. Um, which I know He called me to do this podcast. So I really been trying to just follow that follow those steps you know and not lead not going into my own steps because if i go in my own steps because the bible said do not lean on your own understanding but lean on the word of god so if i lean on his word alone because if y'all don't know that god is the word okay the word was with god god is the word it said all in the bible i'm telling y'all but now you know if i lean on if i lean on the word of god if i lean on god alone i will find the purpose that he has for my life oh Bro, it's hot out here, okay? It's hot. Uh, but something else that I've realized this week that I've been struggling with is discipline. I don't know about y'all, but I've been literally struggling with a lot of discipline, bro. Like, it's hard for me to just get myself going to do the things that I know I need to do. I know I need to make this podcast. I know I need to make videos. I know that I need to, I need to treat my girlfriend like the queen she is. I know that I need to do that. I know I need to take on more dates. But at the end of the day, I just don't have the discipline to do that because my discernment is off. If my discernment off, my, my discipline become off. So I know that I need discipline in order to do the things that God has called me to do. God want, I know for a fact that I, that I am going to be a husband. I know for a fact that I am going to be a husband. I'm going to be a husband now? I don't know. That's only in God's, you know, in God's will. I already prayed about that. And once God let me know if I'm going to be the husband now, later on in life, whatever. But I know that it, I am going to be called to be a husband. Um, Cause that's just the desires of my heart. God will answer the desires of the desires of your heart, as long as they align with His will. So I know for a fact that God, God will, God called me to be a husband. Probably not right now, but probably in the future. But that's what's at the point. The point that I'm trying to make is that I got to be disciplined with everything that I do in my life. And I realize that we can say all day long um, that we want to do this, we want to do that, but then we don't have discipline. To, we don't have the discipline to do it. But we, then we pray to God and say, God, give us discipline. Give me discipline. Allow me to get up out bed and do this. But at the end of the day, you have to work. You have to work for what you pray for. So if you say, God, I want to lose weight. I don't want to be fat no more. Well, what are you doing to, you know what I'm saying? Like, you look, look, one thing I heard uh, somebody say, it was like, uh, <laughs> I can't say the exact words because he was cursing, but he was like, um, he said, you got to work. You got to work to lose weight. You should, you show, you show dang didn't wake up fat and you're not going to, uh, he was like, you show dang didn't wake up fat and, um, you're not finna go to sleep skin, something like that. It was, it was something funny. Okay. It was something funny, but he was speaking facts. I mean, you have to work for what you want in life. You have to work. So if you want to lose weight, you got to work and go in that gym. You, you could pray all day long and say, God, please allow me to lose weight. Please allow me to do this. Please allow me to do that. But at the end of the day, it's like, where's your discipline in order to do that? Where's your discipline in order to do that? And I was watching, um, I was watching Cuff to Comments yesterday by Michael Todd. And it was a couple of notes that I did take down, but the main notes that I like want to share was, 
uh, we have to start it. We have to start it. God will not start it for us. And that's one thing that I had to realize is that I tell God to do this. I tell God to remove these type of people out of my life. I tell God to God, please, please take these people out of my life. Please do this. Please do that. But at the end of the day, I have to be the one that's willing to start it. I have to be the one that's willing to take that first step because God is not going to treat us like a robot because we're not robots. You know what I'm saying? We're not robots. So God's like, okay, you want this certain, you want people out your life. Well, I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm gonna show you these people true attentions, and it's all up to you in order for it's all up to you in order to say, you know what, I'm gonna take them out of my life because God, God will remove people out your life, but He will show you first. He will show you their true attentions. He will show you your enemies first before He remove anybody. He wants you to see who, who you know, who is who. I mean, look what God did to Jesus. Didn't, didn't He show him that Judas was going to betray him? Betray him? Like, I mean, like He shows you. You know what I'm saying? So Jesus already knew. Jesus already knew. Uh, so it's just all up to us in order to do in order to take that first step We can't keep praying. That's one thing I have to realize. I'm like damn bro I keep praying for stuff, but then I'm not taking that first step to do it I'm, a, I'm, just, I'm just waiting on God to just drop it out of heaven. Lord. I want a million dollars But I'm not working to get that million dollars. I'm over here lazy. I don't feel like going to work That's y'all problem. That's people problem nowadays. This someday a lot of people uh, deal with in this generation Y'all don't feel like going to work, but y'all want to be a millionaire Y'all don't feel like y'all don't feel like working hard for it Y'all just wanted to come easy to y'all and that's something that I was dealing with I just wanted to come easy to me. I didn't want to work for it You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, oh man, I don't feel like going to work I don't feel like doing this, but you got to be blessed that you even got a job because some people out here struggling to even get a job You feel me? So you got to be blessed. Stop stop that negative talk That's something that a lot of people have to do is stop that negative stop that negative talk Stop talking negative on yourself. Stop telling yourself. Oh, I don't feel like doing this. Oh, I don't feel like going to work Oh, I'm, I'm not this. I'm not skinny. Oh, my body is so this. My body so that. Stop. Stop talking negative in yourself. If you want to be better in life, if you want to be different, if you want to be a new person, because every every year, every month, every day, we are evolving. Every day, we, we step into the new level. We step into the next level in our life. We, it's like, life is like levels. Level one, you start off like this. Level two, you start off like this. Like, or you can look at it like chapters. Chapter one through ten, you was like this. Chapter t chapter eleven through fifteen, you was like this. Chapter sixteen through nineteen, you was like this. Like every day, you evolving in life, and that's the good thing about life is that every day we can evolve. Every day we can be different. So you want to be different, you got to make change. You got to take that first step. So don't keep praying to God and telling Him do this and take this out your life, and you not even doing it yourself. God's not going to just. God's not a magician. He's not going to. Huh, <laughs> you have to work. God got to see your works. Faith without works is dead. So, I mean, like, come on, man. We got to really do better. And that's something I've been struggling with, like, discipline. Like, I've really just been struggling with all that, bro. Like, I'm going to be real with y'all. I, I have. I, I have. Like, I want to walk into God's will, but then it's like, dang, God, your will is not what my will was. Like, man, God, I don't want to really, like, you You want me to do this, but where the money go come in at? That's the one thing that we always look at is that we don't want to follow God's will because we realize that it may not be the amount of money that we thought it would be in the beginning. It may start off small, but then in the future, it may get bigger. But we don't look at the future. God looks past what's in the present. He looks at the future. You know what I'm saying? God took you out that relationship because he's seen their true intentions already, but he's seen, he seen it in the future. He's seen what they was going to do to you in the future. That's why he took you out that relationship. He, he, he isolated you from no friends because he's seen how your future was going to look. Your future didn't align with their future. That's why we got to realize, man, I'm preaching right now, boy. I'm, 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 I'm preaching. I'm preaching. I need some water. I need a little water break. Hold on. Because I am, I am fat. Okay. I just said, let me stop doubtful talking. I just call myself fat, bro. <laughs> Look, I'm still working on myself. This is me working on myself, y'all. Like, I, I be doubting myself sometimes, too. But this is me working on myself. Okay. But, yeah, that's something that I was struggling with. Um, just being disciplined with myself. We, we have to. We have to just be uh, disciplined. And then something else that I realized is that um, uh, God will be... Oh, wait, wait, where is it? Pray to God for the you have to. I think I said that. Okay, I did say that. Um, but yeah, that's something that I was struggling with this week was just, you know, doing that. And another thing that I was struggling with, y'all, bro, this is like my week, my weekly devotion type of thing. Because another thing that I was struggling with was um, I was struggling with not being myself. I, I always feel like when God called me to do something, I got to change. I got to be different. But in reality, I don't got to be different and do nothing. You know what I'm saying? God can't bless who you pretend to be. So I, I have to, if I if I dress like this, if I dress like this on a regular day basis and I step into a church with a suit knowing I don't wear suits, it's like I'm just pretending to be somebody that I'm not going to be. You feel me? Um, and that's something that we got to realize, though. We got to realize that, bro, it's okay to be yourself. 
if if you know that God calls you to be something great, it's okay to be yourself. You can be yourself and, and still follow God. You know what I'm saying? But one thing you can't do is serve two masters. So when I say be yourself and follow God, that don't mean go be yourself and be your old self. That means be the person that God created you to be. Don't be your old self and try to follow Christ because you can't serve two masters. You can't live into the you can't live in the world and live in Christ. And that's something that a lot of people struggle with is they they want to live in the world and be cool and then live for Christ. Uh, but at the end of the day, you can't live for both. You can't. It's either you give up the world and you follow Christ true. Bro, if my camera flip over, bro, I'm going to lose my mind. God, come on, God. Don't do it. Don't do it to me. Ooh. Okay. The wind just stopped. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Um, but no, like I was saying, though, if if God calls you to be something, you know what I'm saying, you, you don't have to... You, you don't have to change yourself to be who God calls you to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, we we, we feel to realize that uh, that when God called us to do something, it's not the fact that we, we're, we're changing ourselves. We're just changing what we used to be. We have to be something different. You know what I'm saying? We have to be different. Uh, we have to be set apart from the world. God will separate you from the world. And when God separates you from the girl, world, you got to be you gotta be full in and be like, look, look, God, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. You want to chin up? Fight for it. I'm doing this. I'm, I'm stepping full force into your will, into what you have for me. I'm not playing around. I'm not finna play with these games. I'm not finna play with the world. I'm not finna jump into that relationship, that relationship. I'm not finna jump into no relationship that's gonna drain me spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally. I'm not gonna jump into a friendship that's gonna drain me spiritually, mentally, physically, and emotionally. I'm not gonna jump into nothing that you haven't ordained. I'm not gonna jump into nothing that you haven't called me to jump into. So that's what we got to realize. That's what we got to realize. And then when it comes to when it comes to serving the world and serving Christ, we got to realize something like, let me tell y'all something. This is how you separate yourself from the world. God's going to do it, but you, like I said, you have to be willing to take that first step. You separate yourself from the world when you realize that there's nothing on this world that's greater than God. Nobody can change, nobody can change your circumstance like God can change your circumstance. You got to realize that. Another thing to realize is that everything on this world is going to disappear besides the word of God. So why you trying to please that person? Why you trying to please your boss? Why you trying to please your friend? Why you trying to please your girl? Why you trying to please your boyfriend? Why you trying to please them? Guess what? At the end of the day, we all go die. We all gonna be separated. It, it, like, I mean, like, cause to be honest, we are. We are because I mean, um, <laughs> the pathway to hell is very. Uh, is it? Damn, what was it? Narrow, bro. It, I always get the word. I always get them two words confused. But y'all know the Bible. Y'all know that it's like that. Uh, the highway to hell is narrow or the broad or something. I always get them words confused. Like, I, I really need to just dig deep into them two words. I always get them mixed up. But, um, yeah, hell is really wide right now. Like, hell is wide, okay? And and heaven is real small. Heaven is real small because a lot of people don't want to give up their life for Christ. A lot of people want to still live in the world. You got to be different. You got to realize that, bro, is it really worth living for this world? Is it really worth living for this world? It's not. It's not worth it at all. This world ain't got nothing to offer. Nothing. You living for this world because you think you having fun, but then when you die, psh, then what? Then what? It's not worth it. So that's something that I realized this week is that I just got to be myself. I got to be myself. The way I talk should change. The way I talk is bro, yo, yo, yer, what's up, my brother? That's just the way I talk. I'm not finna say, oh, how you doing, my brother and my sister? How you doing? How you doing? God bless you. God bless you. How you doing? Hallelujah. Thank you. Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you. That's just not the way I talk. Okay? And I'm not bashing anybody that talks like that. If that's the way you truly talk, that's the way you truly talk. But that's just not the way I talk. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, God bless you, my brother. For real. God bless you, bro. The real talk. Hey, hey, on phone note, God bless you. I'm from Chicago. That This is the way I talk, okay? <laughs> Um, but that doesn't mean that that doesn't mean that my my character hasn't changed. That's what we gotta realize is that you come to God, you don't have to change, but you should change your character. Your character should be different. You should look at things different. You should show nothing but love, joy, kind. I mean, oh, pff, love, joy, kind. You should show nothing but love and joy and peace and patience and Lord, please. <laughs> this camera is so unstable right now. <laughs> please, Lord. Please, Father. Okay. But yeah, that's just something that we got to realize. That we got to... The fruits of the Spirit should flow off of us. Uh, some that... Yep, 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 yep. 
Uh-huh. Some that Michael, some that Michael Todd said yesterday, he was like, the fruits of the spirit should flow off you. People should have to find your fruits. It should just flow right off you. That's one that we gotta realize that our, our fruits, the, the fruits of the spirit should flow right off us. People should have to find it. You know what I'm saying? People should have to look at us and think we this and that. Like it should just be like, oh yeah, he this. Oh yeah, he that. You know what I'm saying? Like people should look at us and see that. Um, so yeah, that's just something that I learned this week. Uh, like that's pretty much all that I learned. Uh, and patience, you know, being patient is the key in life. Uh, we just have to really be patient, y'all. I know that, I know that you want that business right now. I know that you want this amount of money right now. I know that, but you have to be patient. You have to be willing to be patient because you gotta wait on God's timing. God's timing is the perfect timing. If we do it ourselves, bro, we go because we want to rush everything. We want everything like this. If we want, if we get everything just like this, bro, we go lose it just like this. Why? Because we wasn't ready. God ain't gonna give you nothing that you're not prepared for yet. You gotta be prepared for what God is ready to bless you with. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be prepared for it. You wanna be the husband, you wanna be the wife, you gotta be prepared for it. You can't break up out of every argument. You can't, you can't get mad at that person over the smallest things. You gotta be prepared. Cause at the end of the day, marriage is, marriage is a hard, like it's not hard, but marriage is like, um, it's a it's a commitment. It's a commitment for life. It's a commitment for life. So I mean, when you when you fully commit to one person for the rest of your life, you got to be ready for that. You can't be out here wanting to do this with that girl and do this with that girl. You got to be committed with that one person. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, patience. Patience is key, y'all. Have patience during this walk with Jesus. Have patience. I promise you, you got patience, bro. I'm not saying the walk will be easy, but just just. Just know that God got you. Just have patience. Promise y'all. I love y'all though, man. I really do. And I'm back with these God talks. Uh, every week, I'm going to do a God talk. Every single week, I'm going to do a God talk. Uh, it's getting hot outside. I'm going to just come out here on, my, on the days that I'm not working or the days I'm not filming. Like I'm just going to come out here and just talk. Talk about God because this is what God called me to do. You can look at it like a podcast. This really is a podcast because I'm talking to a camera. Uh, I might not have a fancy mic on me and all that, but... Hey, it is what it is. But uh, I love y'all, man. I love y'all. I truly do. And during this week, I just want y'all to have patience, discipline. Uh, y'all want to go to the gym? Go to the gym. Just have discipline to do it. So patience, discipline, and don't change yourself to be. Don't change yourself to be like nobody else. Don't change. Be yourself. Just change your character. Simple as that. Uh, and give your life to Christ, y'all. Give y'all life to Christ. Give y'all life to Christ. Life is short, and you don't want to die not knowing who Jesus is. People I said not knowing who Jesus is because a lot of y'all know of Jesus, but y'all don't know Jesus. Y'all don't know him. Y'all just know of him. Y'all know what he did. Y'all know of God, but y'all don't know God. Y'all don't know what God can truly do in you. Y'all don't know what Jesus can truly do in you. Y'all don't know that. Y'all just know of him. They just like another human being or another, they just like another people to y'all. Y'all don't know truly what they can do. So my advice to y'all is give y'all life to Christ and fully know what they can do in your life. Don't just know of them, know who they truly are. Y'all might know of me because of YouTube, but y'all don't know me. Y'all don't know what I go through. Y'all don't know my secrets. Y'all don't know my dark secrets. Y'all don't know stuff that I done hidden. Y'all don't know that. Y'all don't know me. Y'all don't even know my middle name. <laughs> and if you don't even know Jesus, I just say give your life to Christ today. Accept the free salvation that Jesus Christ offers. And if y'all want to know the free salvation, uh, it's a prayer. Um, I don't know the prayer by heart. I'm not going to sit here in front. I, I had the prayer written down, but I didn't bring that book with me. But I, I had the prayer written down just because if I had to get somebody a free salvation, uh, well, I didn't have to get nobody. But, you know, if somebody wants to get the free salvation, please, camera, please. Uh, Holy Spirit. Uh, please allow my camera to be safe. You know what? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That just scared me. Bro, the camera just lifted up. I need to get out of here, bro. Now I want to be all windy. <laughs> it was just super hot. Now I want to be all windy. But, um, yeah, I used to have it written down, but I don't have it written down no more about the free salvation. So uh, I say go to Michael Todd page or go to any pastor. Uh, sometimes pastors say it at the end of day, at the end of their sermons, and y'all can really accept the free salvation of Jesus Christ. But really accept Jesus Christ into your heart, into your life. Don't just hear the word. Be a doer of the word. Don't just listen. Understand. You know what I'm saying? But I love y'all, man. Uh, let me get out of here because this camera flip over 
it's over for me, okay? And there'll be no more filming until like probably four years, five years from now. Uh, but anyways, man, I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Follow your boy on IG. I love y'all. And hey, it is what? It is what it is. <laughs> I love y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.